What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Knights of Horror Fact or Fiction with another member of the Knights of Horror. We're, we're trying to get through everyone. Uh, the hardest one, ironically, to get on this show is Logan. Um, <laughs> but uh, today we're sitting busy here with he, – he's a busy guy, man. I don't know what he would – you know, he's doing a lot of things. Um, yeah. But today we're sitting here with Will. Obviously, we haven't uh, – the last time I think I talked to Will was when we did the Krampus live stream, huh? Yeah, that was the last time. Was that the 20th of December? Uh, nine, 19th? 19th of December? Yeah. That was a fun Rob. night. That was a good night. That was, that was, dude, Rob. That wasn't Rob, that, that was Santa Claus. Oh, yeah, right, Santa Claus. I can't believe we got Santa Claus on the podcast, all the way from the North Pole. We've had, we've had Batman on the podcast, we've had a werewolf on the, bat, on the podcast, we've had Santa Claus, like, Rob just has the connections. Yeah, he really does. He really does. Yeah, he it. misses every single one we do with them. Yeah, man. I don't know why that is. <laughs> He's always missing them, but um, <laughs> another episode of Knights of Horror Factor Fiction to continue on with season one. Uh, you know, these are every week you would think these are easy to, to do and to find videos, but I have to do a fuck ton of research just to find videos we haven't covered yet. Um, luckily, there's pages like today that do top fives and, and all that. Today we're going to be focusing on Japan. Uh, obviously we know with Japan there's a lot of scary and weird unexplained things that happen there. Um, and a lot of the I think a lot of the scariest things come from Japan. What do you think? Yeah, I think they've got a good uh, history of uh, uh, folklore regarding the supernatural. And obviously you know, you got things like uh, the ring and the grudge and lots of other intense horror uh coming out of japan so i'm excited to see what we got today yeah so obviously if you guys know the rules by now uh my guests never know what they're gonna watch this is they're going in blind uh will you've never seen any of the videos i'm about to show you right well you don't never. know but well i don't know you <laughs> may have came across them but you know uh who knows but as the video i prepared today you've never seen i haven't showed you it you're going in blind um Scouts honor. <laughs> Scouts honor right there. Um, and obviously, if you know, uh, with the show, we're going to have five videos lined up for him. He's going to have to determine which ones are fact or fiction, uh, and we're going to break them down. I'm going to talk to Will a little bit about this and explain the video going in, and then and after we talk about what we saw in the video, what Will thinks, and then we go on to the next one. Same process until the very end of the video where we go back and determine which have been proven to be fact or fiction. So, Will, with that being said, are you ready? Yep, let's get into it. You ready to uh first off before we get started even further, are are you a firm believer of the paranormal? No, I'm not. I love don't get me wrong, I love love talking about it, but there's just a little disconnect when it become when it comes to me like believing it, you know? Right. Is it is it because you've never are you one of the people that has to see something in order to be a believer? <sighs> or even that I struggle with this every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ruling anything out, right? But I'm not saying anything for certain, right? Um, so I'm I'm excited to show you this one, man. I, I when I I watched by the way I watched this one around like three or four a.m. and I was still a little shaken up by it. Um, mm. And we're gonna talk about a nightmare I had the other day that scared the hell out of me. So <laughs> we'll save that for the <laughs> end of the episode, but or I'll save it for a podcast. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I mean this. I mean Japan is obviously famous for like you said their their wide variety of the supernatural uh, creatures monsters godzilla originated from freaking japan dude and uh their horror movies as well are probably scarier than anything that america can make and i will even say that's probably even scarier than anything like anything even the exorcist the exorcist is probably one of the scariest movies of all time and that's that's a bold statement so <laughs> um yeah. this video comes to us from uh viral dark seven this is a compilation he made of a bunch of videos that he found um, these are, this video is entitled five scariest J Japanese ghosts caught on camera, real ghost videos caught on tape. He says real ghost videos, but I'm still a little skeptical, skeptical about a couple of them. And I want to see if you know which ones are fake and which ones are not. So here we go with video number one. I'm
All right, so as you could tell, we were doing a new style, like how we did with maze treatments. Will brought up a good idea mid-filming. Um, so we're going to just play the video, and then you'll see. We'll talk about it after. Will, video number one. I mean, video number one. how do you explain that, dude? I don't know. I don't know. But it also, it doesn't, it doesn't look too far-fetched to be acted, if you know what I mean. Right. Probably pretty simple to do special effects wise. And I couldn't really, I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't really tell what was going on there in the beginning with like her head like going back. I don't know. Was that part of the paranormal? She, yeah, I guess she was asleep. She rose up and the fucking ghost was just kind of messing with her. I don't know. Like how they do in those paranormal activity films. So, right. Um, hmm, I'm gonna have to say that one, I'm gonna have to say it's fiction. Video I just think one. it's a little too, uh, it's a little too uh, over the top, I guess. You know. All right, Will thinks video one is fiction. All right, well, so let's now move on to video two, which uh, I'm gonna try to see the title. It's entitled "Ghost Caught During Radiation Testing Tunnels of Mat." I'm gonna butcher this town right now, Matsushiro, Japan. I probably butchered that town. I'm so yeah, sorry. Pretty active nuclear ghosts. Yeah, active nuclear ghosts. So this is another one caught on film. Very interesting one. So let, let's take a look at this. Ooh, excited. So, Will, video number two, uh, we have the, the, the ghost in the abandoned mine shaft. Obviously, Japan known for, you know, the, the, the nuclear testing area, uh, the atomic bomb and everything like that. Uh, yeah. What, what do you make of this, man? I mean, we saw this figure. looked very CGI-y, but I don't know. It, yeah. could, it could be real for all we know. It could be. It could be. Uh, I was telling uh, Tony when we were watching this, it, lo it looks a little bit more... Um, haunted mansion than um uh than um yeah. you know, like some uh warren case you know right um so oof, you know i think i might have to rule the same way i did with the last one i'm gonna give this one a fiction but fiction pretty, pretty creepy nonetheless pretty creepy yeah i'm gonna uh, i don't know man well we'll find I out on it or not you wouldn't catch me dead walking those tunnels man yeah that is terrifying you can have a tour of like 15 people and i'm still not walking through those <laughs> i'm like you know what i'm just gonna sit this one out There's, there was a good like japanese food place back there. i'm gonna go you know you just take your time i'm gonna go have something to eat precisely <laughs> <laughs> all right this next video comes to us again from japan um this one is called ghost caught on camera at school uh we have two girls who look like they're and it's not inappropriate they're they're finishing up changing um from whatever they were, uh, they're putting on their, their last bit of clothes and shoes and everything, uh, and something decides to join them. So let's take a look at ghosts caught on camera at school. Uh, all right, Will. So video number three, the uh, what we pretty much agreed on, the pervy type ghost. Um, uh, what do you what do you what do you make of this, man? I mean, it's it is a shadow. I mean, and a lot of a lot of what we've seen in the paranormal world are shadowy like creatures like this or or entities. So what what do you make of this, man? 
this is true. This is true. And, um, you know, um, I think out of the ones we've seen so far, I think this one has the most, uh, 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 uh you know, I guess plausibility to it. Right. It's the, more, it's the most subtle one we've seen so far, you know, it's just a shadow there. Um, and while that could easily be the shadow of something else, I think I'm going to give this one the first fact of our video today. Ooh, video number three, going for fact, man. Yeah, I have to agree with you on that. It is, out of the two that we've seen, this one does look something you would more see in the paranormal caught on camera world. Um, like I said, a lot of what you see with today's ghost hunting, it's it's shadows and, and stuff much like in that nature, so... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and agree with you on that, but I guess we'll find out if you're right or not at the end, right? Um, all right, next video we're going to take a look at. This one is uh, office uh, ghost caught on camera footage. This one is a bit creepy too, um, but I want to hear what you think about it, so let's take a look at this next one. Uh, this girl's working in – I'll set it up. This girl's working in an office, and some unexplainable stuff happened, so let's take, let's check it out. So, Will, video number four. Obviously, this girl's working by herself in the office. Some unexplainably weird things happen. Papers fall. Stuff is moving. Then chairs start moving. Eventually, she falls to the floor and gets dragged away by some unknown force. What do you think, man? Ooh, all right. So, this one, I think, is the most, uh, is the most uh, like, movie-esque type of, you know, it's very, uh, there's a lot going on there. Right. Um. Let's see. I, you know, there's as I kind of want this to be real because that's that's really <laughs> you know they got a whole song and dance going on there, like the ghost throwing stuff off right. the off the shelves and moving the chairs around, um, and then pulling that woman out. I'm a little confused at the camera angles we got in that video. It might just be uh, security cameras, but they were very close to each other. You know, certain angles. Right. I don't quite need that many. Exactly. <laughs> um. But I do kind of want this one to be real. <laughs> so I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a fact. You're going to go fact on this one. All right. Fact on this one. Yeah, this is a uh, definitely, I, I do agree with you on the fact that you said that this was probably the most movie cinematic type one that you would see. Cause this is actually something you would see in a movie like the conjuring or, or insidious or something like that. Um, all right. This next video comes to us right here. This is the, the final video. This one I think is probably the most creepy out of all them. This is ghost in an elevator. Um, so these, I'll set it up. These two guys walk into an elevator and everything is chill until the very end where it gets very, very interesting. So let's go check out, uh, this last clip, uh, ghost in an elevator. All right, Will, this final video, uh, the ghost caught in the elevator, man. I mean, the guys were just in there chilling, going to their floor, and then all of a sudden, as they walk out, not even a second after the guy moves, there's someone behind him. How do you explain that, man? Ooh, you know, this, uh, this one, if we're talking about the point of the security cameras from the last time being a little odd, I think this one had the most uh, realistic-looking uh, camera setup out of all of them so that gives a little that gives a little credence there um but the apparition at the very end was very was very um was very present you know he wasn't super he wasn't like 
uh, uh, subtle or anything. That was like a full blown dude that just came out of nowhere in the elevator. Right. Um, uh, extreme. That was probably the creepiest one uh, out of out of the lot. Um, just I think at the closeness that that dude came to just you know coming out of nowhere. Like he was right behind him. It was as he left. You know, filled in the space. Right. Um. Oof. You know, I think for the last one, I'm gonna have to go fact on it. You're going fact, man. Fact. Yeah, this was this was out of the 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 five that we watched. I think this one is the most like creepiest. I mean, oh, easily. It, it's it's definitely something to like you know have a ghost maybe standing in the corner the entire time. But it, this ghost literally, as the guy walked, not even a second, someone just appears behind him, and obviously that was it looked like a tight spaced elevator, so. If there was a third person, you would have saw him immediately. But this person or this entity just kind of came out of nowhere and just followed them out, which I think that even made it more for a creepy ending right there was just the fact that he slowly was following them out. Like, right. Damn, man. You had that also, you had that long buildup of nothing. Right. And you had that quick little, uh, like, surprise out of, like, you, I wasn't even expecting that. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. No, I, as I, the elevator. I agree, man. So. All right, that is all five videos we have for this week. So let's let's do a recap. So the first video we have of the girl waking up in the middle of the night, experiencing that weird and bizarre uh, behavior. Uh, mm -hmm. You deem this one to be fiction. That was indeed fact. Uh, I, I did a lot of research on this one. Uh, no one can really explain that or the person that comes up at the end. Um, and a lot of people have did some low lights on it and, and they just could not figure this out. They didn't see it was a person that was in that corner that, that came out of nowhere. And they, they, another thing they, they really, uh, focused a lot in this video was, um, the little shape that comes up is in the beginning, oddly shaped. And it's kind of unexplainable. Like uh, they, they said really a, a human body can't really be the shape that it was when it was coming up. Uh, mm. but yeah, they, this one was indeed a uh, fact. Obviously there's a lot of like possession and stuff that happens in the world. And, and, this was a case of that. So video yeah. number one was fact. And that is, that was, that was one where I was kind of like, Ooh, if there's one that's going to trip me up, it might be this one. That uh, is, so now you're O for one or yeah. O for yeah. one right now, but it's okay. All right, we got four more videos to determine whether they're fact or fiction. Um, video number two, which was the mind ghost, the, the mind shaft ghost, uh, walking through mm -hmm. that is indeed fiction. And you got that one right, right there, my friend, All right, we got a 50%. right there. Um, uh, no, yeah, that <laughs> obviously it, it looks fake. And, um, I, I, I just, I did as much research as I can find on this video and everybody just said, this is, looks like a, a CGI or a plantain or someone else that, that probably played the part. And then they just kind of made him ghostly after, but. Yeah, this one, yeah. I mean, it, you can even tell it looks, like you said, it looks like something from the Haunted Mansion, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, video number three, which was the ghost that is was spying on the girls. Um, this one was indeed fact, so now you are two for one. Damn. Um, nice. Yeah, this one, honestly, like out of the out of the, the first two that we saw, this one was probably like the most cases of, of legit paranormal activity that you can find on the internet and a lot of what you see on the internet. Um, and there's really no way to kind of explain that. I mean, it just kind of appears out of nowhere. My thing is like, okay, did the camera only pick that up or did they not see him? They must've felt something, right? So yeah, probably. So yeah, man, that one's fact. So video number four, which was the girl that was caught in the office. Uh, you deemed that one, you were kind of 50, 50 about this one and you wanted it to be real, but at the same time you were still a little skeptical about it, but you ultimately determined fact, um, and sorry to break it to you, buddy, but that one was fiction. Damn. Um, like you said, uh, and a lot of what I read on this video, is, it's the same kind of argument where people say there's too many cam security cameras too close to each other. Um, easily can be pulled. A lot of the stuff that happened could be happening pulled by strings, and you can easily green screen someone to pull someone. So um, that, that's a lot of the arguments that I was reading on the Internet. And the final video, which was, of course, the ghost in the elevator, this one is indeed real. Um, this one is, is really everyone I watched. This one's just hard to explain. Uh, these are legit security cameras. These were four different security cameras in four different locations of, of this building. And the fact that this person just kind of appears out of nowhere um, after um, 
after you know they leave is really unexplainable. Uh, I don't know how to really explain that at all. But congratulations, Will. You got three out of five right. Um, I don't know. Not to pass, but I'll take it. <laughs> you know what? No one's gotten a perfect score on this yet, and I don't know if anyone ever will. But we'll find out eventually. So, Will, thank yeah. you for coming on to Knights of Horror Factor Fiction to determine what was fact and what was fiction. Uh, after seeing these videos, does this open your eyes to the paranormal world ever more, even more? Well, maybe, maybe a little bit. Maybe it has. Maybe it has. <laughs> maybe it has, man. <laughs> maybe we have to actually convince. We have to show Will something in person. Maybe he'll believe. I don't know. Maybe I gotta. Maybe I just gotta do a round two on the the uh, Queen Mary haunted tour. Yeah. Last time I I was in like fifth grade or something like that. Do so a, do a Knights of Horror video right there. That'd be a fun one. Sure. Whenever, whenever they open up, though, if, if they ever open up, we're going to do that. Um, yeah. Real quick, I, I, you know, just because we're talking about Knights of Horror Factor Fiction, and, and this is kind of a little off topic, I had a weird-ass nightmare about two days ago, dude, and it was the scariest thing, and I woke up, and <laughs> my heart was racing, and I started praying hard, but it, it was mostly uh, I, I, I was in this dream, I was saving this girl, and I saved her, and then she said she didn't want to live no more. She banged her head, and when she banged her head, she came back up. Her eyes were white. She looked directly at me in the eyes and said my name and was about to kill me, and that's when I woke up, dude. Like, I was legit terrified that night, and I didn't think – I woke up around 1.30, and I didn't go back to bed till 5 in the morning because that's how terrified I was. Um, wow. And every night since then, I've been a little scared to go to sleep. Uh, just because I don't want to have that reoccurring dream or anything, but um, I feel like some nights, you know, I'm, I'm slowly getting back into the habit of sleeping. But every time I go to sleep, that's the one thing I think about, and it scares the fuck out of me. So, Oof. just man, those nightmares sometimes they're just real potent and they fuck you up for a little bit. Yeah, man. I, I, I just thought I'd I'd share that story real quick because it really did scare me, and it was a real life horror experience that I've had in the most in the in, in recent times. So. Uh, yeah, man, it was, it was terrifying. And, uh, I, like I said, every night going to sleep, it, I'm a little scared to go to sleep cause I don't want to have that same nightmare again, but, um, mm -hmm. I just go to sleep and hope for the best. So brain's like, you know, you, you did miss out on fun season. We're a little uh, lacking in the scared <laughs> part, man. Right? Let's just, uh, give a little supplement here. Yeah, no, really. But, uh, that was my little nightmare story. Hope you guys enjoy that. But will thank you again for playing Knights of Horror Factor Fiction. Uh, we might have to do a, 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 a season finale might have to be the entire group to see if you guys can team up and, and determine whether it's fact or fiction. So yeah, I'll collaborate to our final answer that way. Yeah. So that will be the season finale. You, you heard it here first folks. It will be everyone in the Knights of War crew teaming up and seeing if they can determine whether it's fact or fiction. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, we have social media at Knights of Horror on Twitter and at the Knights of Horror on Instagram. We have merchandise available for your uh, purchasing below, and it further helps the channel out to um, get new equipment, everything, so we can make better videos and content for you guys. Uh, also, you know, if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button with that bell notification. Be aware every time we put up a new video. Leave some comments below. Do you think the videos today we showed you are fact or fiction we'd love to hear your thoughts leave a like for this uh video and we will see you guys next time for another episode of night's horror factor fiction and many more other videos on this channel see ya